remember looking at pictures of you the night before the blind date and hoping that you would be the one sitting in the back seat of Amberlynn's car the next day. From the moment you knocked on my door on our first real date soon after, I knew that you would be my greatest adventure. I could go on for the entire ceremony talking about how much you mean to me and how great of a person you are. But to put it briefly, you are everything that I could ask for in a partner. You're brave, intelligent, funny, and beautiful. I promise to be your loudest cheerleader. I promise to be the best me I can possibly be for you. And I promise I will love you with all of my heart. Being best friends with both Matt and Carrie has honestly been a highlight of my life. The two of you bring balance to the chaos that is life. Your future has never been a question to me. The day that both of you texted me asking if it was too soon to say I love you was the day that I started drafting this speech. You have dragons to slay and ogres to rescue. May the wind under your wings bear you where the sun sails and the moon walks. Congratulations. I really love you guys. When Matt asked me to be his best man, I'm like, duh, of course, no problem, love to do it. When Matt and Carrie first started dating, I'm like, Matt, what do you guys like? What do you guys do all the time? He's like, we stay up and we play video games and Dungeons and Dragons all the time. And I'm like, that's awesome. I really wish that I could do that, even though I don't know what Dungeons and Dragons are anymore. <laughs> and then there's the style, like. Our style is still very different and I don't get it, but whatever bodysuit Matt is in, I'm like, dang, man, that's extravagant. It can't get any bigger than that. And then I scroll down, there's Carrie, more extravagant, fucking own in the, sorry, freaking own in the room. Sorry about that. But anyway, you guys are perfect for each other. I love that you guys found each other. Uh, congratulations to Matt and Carrie. Cheers.